The legacy is that the genocidal events may have occurred 95 years ago. They may have occurred 65 years ago. The legacy is alive here in this room right now. It's a, it's a testament to the fact that we're not going to allow the rewriting of history or the denial of history. And to the revisionists out there, we say this. Admit to the truth of what's happened. The whole world knows what happened. And to do that would be a noble thing, a good thing, a moral thing, and a decent thing. Let just justice be done. Let the memory of those victims rest in peace. surprised I was denounced by a fellow South Australian politician, uh, Senator Ferguson, in an after-dinner speech in the Federal Parliament, and the argument ran along the lines, uh, the genocide wasn't really uh, a genocide, and secondly, uh, if it were, were it uh, happened so long ago, and we are such good friends with the Republic of Turkey that no one should be talking about it. The legacy is also a terrible one. A terrible one, as Henry pointed out, of a power imbalance. And the power imbalance is that a minority of people, Assyrians, Armenians, Pontian Greeks, suffered at the hands of a powerful perpetrator. And you still do the power imbalance that occurred physically in the killing fields is still there today. Turkey says we didn't do it. 